Okay. I think we may be done. Okay. Welcome back to Made Up. I'm your host, Danny Volk. And we're here in the office of Zachary Cahill. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to ask that. I think it's Zachary, right? <laughs> what I tell people is Zachary is my professional name, and my friends call me Zach. Okay. I mean, You're we my bet, friend. Well, well, maybe, okay, cool. <laughs> um, Zachary Cahill. Thanks for having us in your studio. My pleasure. Zachary <laughs> is a, um artist living and working here in Chicago, also teaching at the University of Chicago, and coordinator of DOVA OPC, which is... Department of Visual Arts Open Practice Committee, which is a, like a visiting artist program, but with all sorts of other um, interesting components and projects that go along with that. Mm -hmm. And I will be working with you in that capacity. What is my title? You are the assistant coordinator. Whoa. Yeah. That's a pretty big title. It's, it's no joke. It is a title. And it's big. <laughs> Danny Volk, are you ready to get made up? Yes. Okay, let's get started. All right. Um, do you have you ever used makeup before? I haven't. Really? Uh, not really. We used makeup. You remember I put that uh, the glow paint. The glow paint. So I don't really know what I'm doing. And you're a painter, so why is this? Why is it so far different? Well, that is a good question. It's maybe not that different. I'm just getting the hang of the, the medium. So this one I kind of, oh, no, it's not so different. OK. This is going to be, it's like finger painting, which we don't, I, don't, I haven't done much in a long time. Actually, I do it occasionally. I'm going to get uh, kind of stymied by brushwork mm -hmm. then I just jump in but I thought because this is an interview it's mm -hmm. a particular type of painting mm -hmm. the, I thought this would be a good way to, to go about it but you know my favorite color do you know my favorite color pink favorite color is pink I'm sure everyone knows that how did that come about I think when I was a graduate student here mm -hmm. at the University of Chicago mm -hmm. in the Department of Visual Arts, um, I had a, a critique. Suzanne Gez, the former director of the Renaissance Society, an affiliate member of the department, mm -hmm. um, and who was one of the founding members of the OPC. This was before the OPC existed. Um, said, why all the pink? There's a lot of pink. <laughs> <laughs> and the installation, and I, I was like, I don't know, that's a good question, because there's a lot of it. A lot of the installation used pink styrofoam. It's just, I don't know. So it was a question that stuck with me, and I've still been trying to <coughs> figure out. So, but now you're just embracing it. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> the, more you, <laughs> the more pink, you might figure out why. Yeah, I think so. That's a... What kind of work do you do here in your office? Well, here I, I run the program. So many artists, seems like to me, have <clears throat> day jobs. I mean, everybody here has a day job and they're all artists. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I think that's interesting and what that means for artists to occupy um, institutions and how that changes both their work <laughs> and the institution itself. Does the institution become more artistic or... Do you find that having this position has changed your work? Absolutely. What I found started happening is I started making, I started like programming events and inviting people. Like invitation's a really big part of what I do for this job. I invite people constantly to our public events mm -hmm. and thinking about timing and the way things proceed. And so that, the effect that had on my work 
um, it was really interesting. So it kind of felt like the job opened up my art practice in ways that just would not have been possible. Mm -hmm. um, and still to this day, influence the work I make. And I think you were at one of those types of projects is the seance work that he was kind of highly influenced by. Um, that work. You were a graduate of the University of Chicago. I still am. <laughs> you <could>, sorry. <laughs> um, can you talk about your time here? So, I really, when I was looking at schools, um, at least when I was looking, the buzzword at the time was interdisciplinary kind of programs. Mm -hmm. And they all said it, the different places I looked at. But then I came for a visit here, and what was so great is that it really was actually interdisciplinary. You know, you had, <clears throat> at that time, um, Laura Latinsky, photographer, talking about you know, installation and sculpture, you had Bob Peters being able to talk about photography. It wasn't, it was kind of like a conversation that I really was excited about um, and that I felt like it was the real deal when it came to the whole interdisciplinary thing. And then also that being housed within the university itself, as opposed to just an art school, that it had this whole other thing of being engaged with life of the mind or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you're working on now? On you? No, just oh, okay, in, right. in your own. Well, I'm still doing this project that I've been working on for several years called the, the U S A USSA. Mm -hmm. It's an amalgamation of, you know, the USSR and the USSA kind of just put together. Um, just curious. Um, and, and thinking about different institutions. So the idea of thinking about institutions and, um, and that a country would have multiple institutions. Yeah, so child, the orphanage, middle age, buying stuff, consumerism. Old age would be the wellness center for me. And I'm now kind of currently just beginning to think about a kind of project around the, the afterlife of the wellness oh. center. Initially, I thought a trilogy, each project in the project would be a year long, so a three year project, basically. So now it's moving into its fourth phase. It could go on to be quite a bit longer. And you have some paintings from the Wellness Center project, part of the USSA pro mm -hmm. project at the MCA. And that goes on until when? That goes on till um, the end of September. Okay, well we'll put a link below this video. Okay, that'd be great. Does it have a title or anything? Uh, USSA Danny Volk. Okay. <laughs> um, Zach, thank you so much for having us in your studio, office, workspace. It's my pleasure. And thanks Thank for this very innovative Q-tip sponsored makeup job. It was my absolute pleasure. Thank you, Danny. This has been Made Up with Danny Volk. Until next time.